Welcome everyone to the Virtual Cultural Expressions Festival. Bienvenue tous au Festival d'Expression Culturelle Virtuelle. The Cultural Expressions Festival is coordinated by the Multicultural Association of Fredericton uh, in partnership with Fredericton's ethnocultural groups. Le Festival d'Expression Culturelle est coordonné par l'Association Multiculturelle de Fredericton à l'aide des groupes ethnoculturels de Fredericton. With this year's theme, We Are Stronger Together, the festival is offering a series of fun virtual activities uh, from diverse cultures up until July 1st. Le thème de cette année est « Nous sommes ensemble, nous irons plus loin ». Le festival va ouvrir une série d'activités virtuelles préparées par diverses cultures jusqu'au 1er juillet. Today, it's, natural, it's Canadian Multiculturalism Day. We are offering a series of multicultural events throughout the day. Aujourd'hui, c'est le jour du multiculturalisme canadien. On va offrir des séries d'événements multiculturels toute la journée. A special thanks to our funders who made this festival possible, including the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, Canadian Heritage, New Brunswick Post-Secondary Education, Training and Labour, City of Fredericton and Downtown Fredericton. Nous aimons remercier nos fondeurs qui ont rendu ce festival possible. Il inclut l'éducation post-secondaire de formation et de travail, immigration, réfugiés et citoyenneté Canada, Ville de Fredericton, Downtown Fredericton et Patrimoine Canadien. Thanks to our funders and partners, we are able to offer these online activities this year instead of cancelling the festival due to current situations. That's why we set the theme as We Are Stronger Together. Grâce à nos fondeurs et aux partenaires, nous avons la chance d'offrir ces activités en ligne au lieu d'annuler le festival à cause de la situation actuelle. C'est pourquoi on a changé le thème à Nous sommes ensemble, nous irons plus loin. Now, let's welcome Mercia from the New Brunswick Latino Association. She will talk and show slides and videos from the famous Festa of Junina from Brazil. Maintenant, accueillons Mercia de l'Association Latine de Nouveau Brunswick. Elle parlera et montrera des dispositifs et des vidéos de la célèbre fête de Junina du Brésil. Uh, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Marcia. I'm from Brazil. I'm here to talk a little bit about a traditional dish that we have in Brazil during the Festa Junina party. So it's called Pet Moleque. But before uh, we share with you the Pet Moleque recipe, uh, I would like to introduce to you a little bit about my culture. Uh, this beautiful party that happens in Brazil and it's called Festa Junina. So I'm gonna share with you uh, a slide about this beautiful party and about my country. So Brazil, uh, it's a big country. Uh, the Festa Junina, before I uh, talked about Brazil, the Festa Junina happens in June, of course, and it happens every weekend all over Brazil and could be during the week, uh, during the weekend or during the weekdays. And it is, can be a party sponsored by government, by the city hall, could be a party that happens in clubs, in schools, it, it, it depends. So it could be a big party, could be a small parties, and there is no rule. We just like to celebrate this Junina party. So a little bit um, about Brazil before we start, we start talking about the Festa Junina party. Uh, I'm gonna start from our flag. This is the Brazilian flag. So the, the green part of the, uh, the flag, it means um, the forests that we have in Brazil, the nature, the beautiful nature that we have in Brazil. And the yellow part, uh, it represents the gold. Brazil used to have a lot of gold, a lot of gold mines that were, they were um, the gold, they were exported uh, to Portugal, to Europe during the colonization time. And the blue, the blue here in this circle, it represents the beautiful sky that we have in Brazil. It's a very shiny, beautiful blue sky. And here the stars, they represent each one of our states. In Brazil, we have 26 states. And here this little one star, 
uh, it represents the capital of Brazil. And here in this white strip, it, it is written order and progress. So this is just the start about the Brazil. Um, Brazil is located here in the South America, so it's a big country. So the language that, uh, so we are, so you can see from here that uh, we can, we have as our borders, almost all of the countries that are part of uh, South America, except Chile and Ecuador. All other uh, countries, they are borders with Brazil. So it's a huge country too, Brazil, it's a big country. So the population of Brazil currently, it's almost 212 million people. And the language that we speak in Brazil is Portuguese. It's not a Spanish. If we speak Spanish, it's because it is our second or third language. Our native language is Portuguese. So in Brazil, we, are, we have 26 states and one capital called Brasilia. Brazil is located here in the center of Brazil. So here we have the Amazonas, the famous Amazonas, that it is on the north of Brazil. So Brazil is divided in regions, north, northeast, southeast, and south of Brazil, and the center of Brazil, okay? So the history of Festa Junina. Festa Junina, so now we're gonna talk a little a bit about the Festa Junina, right? So the Festa Junina, uh, it started in an old Europe in Africa. It, it used to be celebrated by Celtics and Egyptians. They, they used to have this part to celebrate the harvest. So in olden Europe. And after that, uh, during the colonization time, uh, the Catholic Church, especially in Italy, Portugal, Spain, and France, they start to celebrate the Junina party, but it, to honor the three saints in, in the Catholic uh, Church. The three saints are Saint John, Saint Anthony, and Saint Peter. So the days that we celebrate their days, it is 13th of June, it is the St. Anthony Day, and St. John on 24th, and St. Peter on 29th. So the main elements of uh, the Festa Junina party in Brazil are food. We love to have a diverse food. It, it is huge, it's a big issue. So we have, uh, sweet food for the Festa Junina and also savory food. So we're gonna have little barbecues in a stick, barbecue in a stick. Uh, we have caldo de mandioca, yuca soup, kind of yuca soup, corn meals, corn, popcorn, a lot of food. And as candy, we have uh, corn cake, Tamil, Tamil, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it right. And um, Taj Muleki, uh, and uh, many, many food. I'm gonna share with you some of them. So we have a food, fire. We, in the Festa Junina, you will always have a fire. We have different kind of dance, but usually it is quadrilla. The name of this typical dance is quadrilla. We also have music. We have popular music, country music, and forró. Usually, all over Brazil, we like a lot of forró and the country music and folkloric music, too. And games. We have different kind of games for kids. So, uh, and all the party, they are decorated with flags. And usually, we display the food and the games in this kind of booth that is decorated with stamps, flowers, flags, very colorful. And inside we have people uh, selling or giving away because if the party is paid, you, uh, they might have uh, uh, a ticket for food or for games. So the games and the food, they are inside, they are displayed inside, just like uh, you can see here. So 
if it is a private party, we make big fire. And if it is a big party, just like it, it's displayed here, the booth with food, drinks, and games. And here in the middle, you can see people uh, having fun dancing quadrilla. So quadrilla is very typical uh, dance for Festa Junina and could be improvised or could be rehearsed quadrilla. In this picture, you can see that people, they are wearing regular clothes, right? Because when we have improvised quadrilla, uh, we, usually we have a couple of uh, people, a couple of people who already rehearsed the dance and then the others will just follow. So everybody is invited to have fun in this beautiful, nice party. Uh, I'm gonna share with you here, you can see other kind of quadrillas. You see people with regular clothes and a lot of colorful flags. And again, the display, the booths with food and people having fun and having food. So this is a big party. But uh, I wanna share with you the quadrilla in the Northeast of Brazil. This is the Northeast of Brazil. So the main activities here, the, the food would be the yuca root. They make cooked yuca root, not only in the Northeast, but basically it's really strong over there and also corn. So they cook it corn and yucca roots and they have the tradition to jump over the fire. So that big fire that I showed to you, they have a tradition to jump over the fire and they have big, big parties. You see how many people are here? So they are watching people dancing uh, folkloric quadrilla. So this is a rehearsed uh, quadrilla. And also for her. So I'm gonna share with you right now a little bit of forró. So forró, uh, it happens usually, it's very famous on the north of Brazil. So let me share with you a little bit of the forró here. Ah. Look how many people. Look how many people. <laughs> so this is just to share a little bit what it is, the Festa Junina in the north of Brazil. So, and now I'm gonna sh uh, show you the Festa Junina in other parts of Brazil. So can you observe here? Oops. Oh, Katya? Okay, okay. Can you observe here that uh, they are wearing traditional clothes here? It's called Caipira. This is a country way of people to dress to celebrate uh, the Festa Junina. So the flag is uh, a lot of people and they're dancing quadrilla. Usually they have a stage only for those people who dance the rehearsed quadrilla. So now we're gonna see the Festa Junina in the north of Brazil. In Amazonas, uh, the state of Brazil, Amazonas, there is a big, big party called Festa de Parentins. And usually, um, not usually, it happens, sorry. <laughs> I thought it used to usually, right? Sorry. So the Festa de Parentins, it happens in the last weekend of June. And it is basically uh, this party. 
it, it, involve, it involves two cows. So they celebrate, they have a kind of competition between two cows, the caprichoso, caprichosos, and the garantido. So it's a huge party over there. We're going to see here. You see, they, they, they have a, they rehearsed the whole year for this party. It's a big, beautiful, colorful party that happens in Amazonas. And uh, here it is the caprichosos, and here it is the uh, garantidos. So I'm going to share with you a little bit what it is this party over there. Just a second, please. So as you can see, Brazil is not only about carnival, right? Brazil, it is uh, it's much more. This big party, it's about family. So let me share with you this Garantidos. The first one is Garantidos. <laughs> Oops. Look. This is the boy garantido, the cow garantido. So they are talking about a little bit the, the tail that in the Amazon forest they have the protection of a, a character called Kudupira. So this is the Gedan Chidu. Look how, how many details, how colorful is this body. And now I'm going to share with you the other one. The Caprichosos. It's called Caprichosos. It also happens in the north of Brazil in Amazon. Look. <laughs> Look how many people. And most of the, the people abroad Brazil, they don't know this beautiful party that we have. And it's a family you're going to see kids, adults, elderly people. Mm, let me put it here. You get closer. Oh, okay. Sorry. So you could see a little bit of how it is the party in the north of Brazil, right? So now I'm, we're going to return to the PowerPoint presentation. So this is, you, can, you could have an idea what it is in the north of Brazil, this Festa Junina called uh, Festa de Parentins. In the southeast of Brazil, we have the traditional quadrilha. So the main food are made of 
corn, we make corn cakes, popcorn, and kanjika. Kanjika is the white corn cooked with peanuts. And we also have the canton. The canton is a drink made up with wine or cachaça. And they put orange, lime, apple, sugar, ginger, cinnamon, and clover to drink this. Because usually in June in Brazil, it's cold. It's winter. But what we call winter over there would be like, in the southeast, would be like 10 degrees maximum cold. No, no less. Usually it's not less than 10 degrees. So they make this warm drinking to, to heat it to keep themselves uh, warm, right? So the quadrilla dance. Oops. So I'm gonna share with you the quadrilla dance in, uh, in the Southeast of Brazil. Let me share with you. Just a second. Mm -hmm. It is. This is a, a quadrilla happening in a school. So we have uh, quadrillas, as I told you, all over Brazil. Big parties, small parties, private parties. So this is one quadrilla where they are wearing country clothes. You see the girls, they are dressed in these colorful dresses. It's called Kaikira. Kaikira dresses. And the guys, they wear the clothes like the Thai people, country people. This is a rehearsed quadrilla, a typical quadrilla. So this is uh, the quadrilla, the typical quadrilla in the southeast of Brazil and many other um, places too. So keep talking about our uh, our uh, presentation about quadrilla in Brazil. Um, I'm going to tell you now how is the Festa Junina in the south of Brazil. In the south of Brazil, they, they have a dance with ribbon. So the objective, it is to, they don't wear the Caipira clothes because they think that the Caipira clothes, it's a kind of mock of country people. And in the south of Brazil, they were colonized. There are a lot of people um, that they are European descendant, descendant. So they went to Brazil to, to work in the agriculture. So they don't like the typical quadrilla clothes because they believe they are mocking the, the country people. So usually they, let me share with you, they, oops, oh, they wear, uh, oh, they wear, ah, uh, what happened? Just a second. They wear, uh, the, they wear long dresses like here. 
you can see very elegant, very sophisticated, long dresses with ribbon. And I'm going to share with you a typical dance of ribbon. It's called ribbon dance that happens in Brazil. Just a second. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. Colorful. And as they dance, they need, they need the ribbon on the wood is You see, you can see they are needing. Look how the man they use a different uh, kind of pen. Okay, so uh, let me stop sharing here. As you could see, we have different kind of parties of Junina parties all over Brazil. It depends which influence they had um, when they were colonized. And now I uh, finally let's get the recipe of Pejmulek, right? So um, we made for you a recipe of Pejmulek. Um, the chef Adriana Caparosi, she is the one who made this recipe. It's quite simple, it's very delicious. And I've heard that you have a similar dish here that it's called uh, peanut brittle. But at this one, it's mixed with condensed milk, so it's not that hard and it's really delicious. And let's go to the recipe, finally. So. Let me share with you the recipe. So this recipe, uh, the, it's called Pej Muleki. It's kind of a peanut square. So um, uh, I, I'm um, the one who is, uh, who we start producing here in Fredericton, the pão de queijo. Pão de queijo is a very traditional appetizer in Brazil made of, chew, of cheese and yuca flour. And it's gluten-free. And here, the pão de queijo that I made, uh, my brand is Brazilian cheese palm. I used to make and sell them at the cultural market. And after that, I went to the North Side Market. But now we are selling the Brazilian cheese palm only online through the Facebook page. And so the Brazilian cheese palm and Adriana Caparosi, my friend, chef, very nice chef, very nice person, we prepared for you this recipe. So let's go. So you're gonna have five grams of peanuts, one cup of sugar, and one can of condensed milk. Olha a 
This is a very folkloric music of Festa Junina in Brazil. Pula Fogueira means jump over the fire. <laughs> Pula Fogueira, yeah, yeah. And this is the final product called Pé de Moleque. You cut in these squares and it's delicious. Um, last but not least, I want to thank you all of you for this opportunity. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. We are sharing a lot of fun educational content on the festival page, Facebook page throughout the day, so please stay with us. Thank you. J'espère que vous avez aimé cette présentation. On partage beaucoup de contenu éducationnel sur la page de Facebook toute la journée. Restez avec nous. Merci.